A tip is our version of the Rolls Royce of bullets. We believe this thing will outshoot or shoot better than anything out there. It's amazing to see what advancements there's been in long range shooting in the recent years. Ammo is better than it's ever been, bullets are better than they've ever been, rifles, optics, but everybody needs to keep continually upping their game and that's where we've gone with these new bullets. Within the company we have a key group of engineers, R&D technicians and bullet makers that come together to make the Ballistic Development Group. These are some of the veterans within our company that have helped us with advancements in bullet design, cartridge design, propellant selection and enhancements that you've seen over the past 10, 15, 20 years. With the advanced advancements that we've been able to achieve with the Doppler radar. We've been able to look at all of our bullets, all of our processes, and refine them to the point now that we are creating bullets that are so consistent, you won't be able to measure a difference in them. The beginnings of this bullet come from the ability to break down and measure certain contributing factors to why a bullet ends up where it does on the target. A lot of people look at BC uh, and, and judge bullets based on that value. However, one of the problems is that nobody assesses it from a variability standpoint or consistency. How consistent is that BC? You can have a super high BC bullet, very, very efficient. But if it's not consistent, all you have is inconsistent efficiency. And when it comes to long range shooting, consistency across the board is key. I think the first physical portion of this bullet that people are gonna notice is the aluminum tip. The aluminum tips are a step forward as far as our use in, in tip material uh, because we needed more length and we needed the ability to tweak uh, the geometry of that to affect certain portions of the bullet, mostly the center of gravity and center of pressure relationship. Many people have heard the term that a bullet goes to sleep. It, it comes out of the muzzle and it's awake. Um, it's it's kind of got some wobble to it and that wobble damps out as the bullet continues downrange. And what we've been able to do with this, this projectile is make it damp out much faster than older designs. There's no question that ELDX, ELD Match was the, the building block to the foundation to launch us to where we are with the, the new aluminum tip match bullet. We learned things from, from those projects just like we learned things prior to that. But this new projectile, with the way it is designed and crafted, we not only put science into that thing, hard science with an aluminum tip, the way we machined it, the shape right down to, you know, two or three thousandths of an inch, the way we draw the jacket and insert the core in there, to the way we form the bullet in the final swedging operations, every detail of the new projectile was taken into account and basically designed on the front end and then crafted for the utmost precision. I think we've combined probably what are the, the ultimate as far as technology in our design and ultimately then in the assembly between using the production methods that we have to produce a jacketed bullet along with putting an aluminum tip in there that guarantees you the geometry that you want, that you need in order for this bullet to give you that next incremental step that we've delivered with this bullet. From a design standpoint on these bullets, we've spent a, a ton of time and effort in making every aspect of them consistent. And I don't think that picture would be complete without the way these things are, are packaged and, and supplied to the, the end user. As these bullets are manufactured off the press, they're kept sequential, that meaning bullet two is packaged after bullet one and bullet three after bullet two and so on. And so what you end up with as a customer is when you have this box in your hand, this is bullet one through 100. As a precision rifle shooter, everything that you're trying to do is reduce the variability. And by getting one bullet after another after another, now you've taken out the variability of having to sort the bullets, whether I weigh them or measure them or whatever you do. Having consecutively packaged projectiles, the ability to shoot the tiny, you know, one hole bug hole groups as we call them, is way higher, just because everything's the same. We want these bullets to be as close to as pure, right off the press, as we possibly can do it. This is something that, to my knowledge, to our knowledge, nobody's ever been able to accomplish a true sequential packaging. These will never be tumbled, they will never be cleaned. You might even see there's a little bit of grease on there. So what we've done there is we've sent a rag, or a rag bag, we want you to take the bag and rag these bullets and feel good about what you're doing and get excited about going to the range because these things are gonna just scream performance and they scream sexy. When you look at them, you just smile. 
the ATIP bullet, you, you can't just look at it without thinking that it's super efficient. It's kind of like looking at a Ferrari. You look at a Ferrari standing still and it looks like it's going 150 miles an hour. That's exactly the same with this bullet. It is designed from start to finish to be a super efficient, ultra consistent bullet. This is the match bullet that everybody has always wanted to have from a major manufacturer, but simply couldn't because nobody was doing it. If we want to win in the match bullet world, we have to always be striving one target tighter, one bullet hole smaller group. We put a whole lot of effort into making sure that the test that we're doing is a valid test, that we are actually proving that there is a demonstrable difference, that this bullet is going to shoot better than the one we made before. This is the pinnacle of production on match bullets. Not only is the bullet and the design itself cool, but getting it to you in as pristine a form as possible is important to us because the shooter is important to us. And we want them to open the box and say, wow.